Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and the Cannibal News Network tried interviewing a uh, poor woman who had kids, and she was at a shelter. Her kids were freezing. She was cold. They hadn't eaten in days. On the Cannibal News Network, the reporters took seeing a microphone in her face and starts interviewing her like it was nothing. And they got chewed out. Which is fine with me. A distraught Houston mother tore into a CNN reporter during a live interview, blasting the woman for putting a microphone in her face just moments after she arrived in the shelter with her two young children. Y'all trying to interview people during their worst times, like that's not the smartest thing to do. Shaking up parent identified only as Danielle told reporter Rosa Flores. People are really breaking down and y'all are sitting here with cameras and microphones trying to ask us what the fuck is wrong with us, she's these. And you are really trying to understand with that microphone still in my face? With me shivering cold, my kids wet, and you're putting that microphone in my face? An interview happened a little before 1 p.m. Central Time at a shelter in Houston. Morris appeared to be approaching a woman at random after she arrived with her kids. We was waiting for the police for like 36 hours and they never came, the mother said. We did the white flags and everything. Nobody came. The woman went, out to ex- went on to explain how she fled her home, walked to the nearby gas station, and remained there until someone picked her up with her and her children. We have been there for five days, no food, no f- lights. She said, we got through four feet of water to get them food in the first day. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. During her outburst, Flores could be hear, heard apologizing to the woman and her children. It sounds like you got a very upset family there. CNN anchor Jim Acosta told Flores before cutting away. Here later discussed the incident, saying the mother appeared to be at her breaking point. Well, what do you think, you morons? We've seen a lot of pain, a lot of drama, a lot of shock here, and that's exactly what that woman is going through, Laura said. It's a very painful time. Yeah, and you'll go back to your uh, little pant- penthouse suite or whatever. There's a lot of trauma, and she mentioned she went through all that with her children. So just imagine any parent can relate to that. <laughs> the problem is you can't. You don't relate to it. You live probably in, you know, some rich person's place, and to these people, you're, they're nothing more than a story to you. This is the point. You consider them to be a story, nothing more. And then you sons of bitches have the nerve, unmitigated to call, to say just how heartless conservatives are. Good. Unbelievable. Well, that's Cannibal News Network for you. Hey, I can't deal. I've heard, I have heard that some reporters roll up their sleeves and are helping out. I'll look for the donation buckets. Uh, if I don't find one at some point, I'll, uh, Donate online, get put on every begging list in the country. It's disgusting. I'm out of facts of Mars. I'm glad that woman chewed her out. She deserved it.